Majorpus, Gongorpus, Fonvorpus, the third. Majunga, Gongunga, Misa, Yursa. <laughs> you look at the Majunga and you think about how good. Never mind. Anyway, hi, everybody. Um, we're going to continue Majura's Mask. I realized that having streamed three and a half hours of Terraria earlier, and then probably going to stream another hour, three and a half hours now, I expect no one to be able to keep up with all this. So, you know, what can you do? It's just a lot of streaming. I, I live on stream now. It won't always be like this, folks, but I'm happy to stream now, especially when I'm streaming stuff I really enjoy. We're going to do Majora's Mask and then Trials of Mana. Vinny, I have something to tell you about the way you sound. Let me guess. I'm more high-pitched. And I sound younger. Do I sound taller? How about more baller? Do I sound like a gangster? A wankster? A certified G? Hi, everybody. I was gonna start with Trials of Mana, but then I realized there's no way I can go from... Trials to this. It would just be too tough. Vinny, you still sound 5'11". It's six foot on my license, son. <clears throat> the sheer fucking hubris. How dare you. So what? I'm 5'11 and maybe like a half. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So Adobe is doing a cool thing where they're now popping up uh, messages on my computer. No, genuine software integrity service. And I just got a pop-up now. So, f fucking goodbye, Adobe. Hello, Gimp. Ha is this gonna pop up, like, frequently? Like, during my fucking stream? GC client application. Ugh. Give me one second, chat. You can uninstall the integrity service. What's it under? <laughs> tell me, tell me what it's under. This is legit. I don't know what the fuck Adobe's doing, man. This is integrity. This is real integrity. Well, anyway, um, we're gonna Majorpo. Are you using Adobe Cloud or CS? Yeah, yes. I don't know. If you have any ideas, please. It's it's Adobe Common Files, Adobe, Adobe GCC. Thank you. I will check that out later during the break. I'm not going to do that now. Let's see how many times Adobe pops up. We can even play a drinking game if you want. Just drink your ginger ale, your hot ginger ale, like I do, and be a real, a real uh, cool dude. All right. Uh, where are we going? We're going. Vinny, it's the new De Nuvo update.
Anyway. Ah, fucking wrong button. Some buttons... Some some games use the confirm button as B on the Super Nintendo controller, and, and some not, so... Vinny, is ginger beer okay? I don't like ginger beer all that much, weirdly enough. It's too spicy. Well, at least the one I got from Trader Jim. Vin, today I watched your Blade Runner stream from two years ago. It was painful. That's a cool chat message to type up. And one that will definitely help me grow as a human, and, and maybe even lead to better streams in the future, especially considering you've given me complete context. So, uh, so tell me about it. What was, what was pain? Was it technical problems? I think the technical problems were probably pretty nasty on that particular occasion, right? Yeah, the reason I'm spicy and starting spicy is because I watched the Plinkett review of Star Trek Picard and it put me in a fucking miserable mood. I was like, Star Trek is dead. For real. They killed it. They killed my son. Look how they massacred my boy. I really need to remember this fucking song. Left, up, left, right, down, left, right. Left, up, left. Before I do the turtle, I forgot there was one other thing I wanted to do. It was the, um, the milk. Two items at the top of the waterfall in the race with the beavers. Well, at the moment, I'm just collecting... Like, someone emailed me and said, Vinny, you should just be collecting songs and doing dungeons. Because... You're almost set for most of the rest of the stuff. Um, I do want to blend up some beavers, though. No, I mean, the Plinkett review was good. It wasn't as funny as previous. It's, it's not a funnier Plinkett review than we've ever had. Amazing. But it was the saddest of all the Plinkett reviews for me. Because it really just proved, like, no, without, you know, someone said, don't spoil it. You know, I understand. You want to watch it blind, you want to enjoy it. But I will say that cutting the scenes together and showing the optimism of past Star Trek and the fucking misery of this new series really was just a, it was a wake-up call. Like, I was going to do a video about Star Trek Picard and talk about stuff I liked and didn't like. But I kind of just got to the point where I didn't even want to think about it anymore. It was just... It was too frustrating to even want to talk about. So I decided, like, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. The Plinkett Review sums it up way better than I ever could. And even found new things to make me upset. 
Uh, but I will say that it was not only a bad show, but it also... It also killed my dog that I didn't- that I don't have. Yeah, definitely did that. So thanks, Star Trek Picard. My whole thing about the show was it felt nothing like Star Trek. The story was confusing, made no sense. It got really dumb, uh, but it just kind of ended up being nothing. Like they were trying to make a point or a statement and it was so muddled and like fucking garbled and, and like, I don't know what they were going for. And, and it just, it just wasn't good. There's a couple good moments here and there. I mean, I could still say there were some positives, but Anyway, the, the Plinket review was really good. It was catharsis. And I enjoyed seeing it. Even if it did make me upset. Um, the, my favorite part was that when Mr. Plinket, a.k.a. Mike, was uh, talking about maybe we could tweet William Shatner. And, and he's just, like, blocked from William Shatner's page on Twitter. Or maybe we could tweet at CBS. Blocked. Vinny, what do you think could have been better? Like, the whole tone of the show, the story, uh, the characters actually feeling like the characters, um, maybe some classic style episodes here and there. Uh, almost everything. Really almost everything. The, the, the acting, aside from a couple good moments from Patrick Stewart and maybe Brent Spiner, uh, Seven of Nine was good. Uh, guy who played Hugh was good. So there's a couple good moments in terms of acting, but a, a lot of not good acting, a lot of bad story. Um, yeah, a lot of nostalgia bait. So I'm gonna say that I am blinded by my, my, by my nostalgia for classic Star Trek, and I almost teared up a little bit watching Mike's Sorry, Mr. Plinkett's uh, compilation of the, the good moments in Star Trek, the hopeful moments. But I realized, like, Star Trek was a thing for me, and I got really into it at, a, like, a painful time in my life, and it really kind of helped me get through stuff, and... It, it still inspires me to want to be a better person when I watch TNG and when I watch the original series to some extent. And Star Trek Picard, I mean, he made a good point. I guess this is a spoiler, but uh, a spoiler for a fucking review of a TV show. It's a minor one, but basically, you know, he's talking about how, like, people recreate the Enterprise. People want to be on the bridge. Even, like, virtual reality people, you know, recreate the Enterprise D. Because it's a place you want to live in. Like, I want to be in the world of Star Trek, especially Next Generation. He's like, no one wants to be anywhere near the world of Star Trek Picard. It's so fucking bleak and miserable and joyless. It's like, yeah. Anyway, that's my, uh, my addition to the Star Trek review that he did. But I will say there's a couple things that I still thought were pretty good. It wasn't all... Most of it was, was disappointing and upsetting, but I still enjoyed a couple things. A couple characters, a couple returns, a couple scenes, um, Riker was good. Stuff like that. Where do I recommend someone who knows next to nothing about Star Trek begin? I get this question a lot. I, I don't really have a great answer because there's so much of it. But I think Star Trek The Next Generation, just watch that. You could do an episode guide if you really need to. 
just watch that all the way through. Then check out Deep Space Nine. And if you like that stuff, then then go, you know, Voyager and the original series and it's a lot. I mean, you're going to end up watching seven seasons, 20 episodes per season. Some really clunky, shitty episodes in there, too. I'm not going for the fairies chat. But when it's good, it's hard to stop watching because it's it's really, like, extremely good. Deep Space Nine is the best one, said someone in chat. We've we've gone through this so many times on stream, so I'll say this. Is Deep Space Nine the best one? It's not my favorite one, but I do think it does dark Star Trek really well. Chat, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm already confused. I'm also barely paying attention. I, I need to end this conversation. Is this correct? Well, this isn't as bad as the water temple in Ocarina, this is still an annoying dungeon. What's my favorite Zelda dungeon theme? I like Link to the Past, Dark World, or Light World, and I like the Forest Temple from Ocarina. It's really creepy. This one's worse, never mind. This is literally the first room. Oh. All I need to do is find the big key and just get to the boss room. In terms of items, I have most of the vital items. I just need some songs, and I need to kill the bosses. I think... Let me just make sure. Yeah, I don't... I'm not missing too much. One song and possibly Lens of Truth could be the dungeon item, but it's not super likely. Lens of Truth is going to be vital for um, Go the Goron dungeon. Snowhead. Isn't it needed to get there? Vinny, main dev of the map tracker you're using, do you have any complaints about it? No, not really. Nope. 
you have done well, Dev. I like it. I, I use it now, and I understand it, and I like it, and it has all the features I need. So, thank you for A, joining, and B, you know, making something that works really well. to this dungeon is following the pipes. Well, do you know where the key to this door is? Yes. This is what happens when you enter a dungeon with ice arrows. Remember, ice arrows can stop water flowing out certain ceiling spots as well. That caught me up last time. Okay, good to know. flowing. Ah, oh, there's weird fucking grabby hands in here. And I'm, I'm bumping into the walls. Vinny, when you stop streaming, will you promote someone else to Vinesaw Streamer? It's not really a title. And I don't know what that really... Is that is that real? I can't tell if that's a real question. It might be. Who wants to be the vine sauce? It's like Batman. Every, you know, every so often you get a new Batman. Summoning Salt released a good video about Ninja Gaiden speedrunning. I really enjoyed that. I always like his videos. Even if I don't play Ninja Gaiden... Gaiden, whatever, I don't know how you say it, but... Yeah. It's Gaiden? That's why I always thought it was, but... Just never knew for sure. Hello, I'm Gabe... Gaiden? Magic zoom attack is easier when swimming. I forgot about that attack entirely.
Hey, if the big key is in one of these, I can just go straight to the boss. All right, well, not straight to the boss, but, you know, it would be helpful. Damn it. Try Chat, I'm trying to do, like, karate underwater, and it's not working. Yeah, the swimming is a little bit slower, well, quite a bit slower in the 3D version. And one of the things Neryl was pissed about is that there was no option to have, like, fast swimming as a default unless you use your magic. But I will say, for a dummy like me, even though I've not been... You know, I'm trying to remember even how to fucking play this game, because I play too many video games sometimes. And I just don't remember how to play the video games. Um, but it would be, like, it would be nice if there was a patch that will enable fast swimming, and you can turn it to slower in the 3DS version. There is. Oh, good. Vinny, you can see- oh, that is the boss chest. Okay, that's good. Um, so that means- so, uh, hmm. We'll use ice arrows. I, I also didn't very much like the designated ice arrow spots in the 3DS version so much as I like being able to use it wherever you wanted. I mean, again, it's friendly to new users. Y users. <laughs> it's it's friendly for people that have trouble in, in the game. But I, I don't know, I just remember how cool it was when I first got Ice Arrows. I was like, yo, you could use it anywhere. What? I've become one with the frog. If that even is it. Yeah, it's a frog. Yes, indeed. to make it work in the end. I don't have the Don Garo mask, so sorry, we cannot talk, Frog. Thank <laughs> you. 
Give me hearts. Oh, man. Well, that was in the exact same spot. Okay, well, if I find the boss door, we can just go straight for the kill. You set the dungeon chest as vanilla with the dungeon item randomized. Oh, okay. Someone said I have to do the, the green to get to the boss. not going to be helpful because I still don't know exactly where to go. Someone said I, I should probably get to the other mini boss. I guess for the randomized item. Most games make their slimes cute. Not Majora's Mask. Not Majorpo's Borpo. said they prefer Wind Waker choo-choos. Yeah, I feel that. idea where to go. Follow pipe? Well, one pipe I can't follow. This one I've been in the... Oh, well, okay. No, no. There was a key area here. Never mind. Let, let's go this way. Or is this not that? It, I think this is where I was. God damn it. <sighs> Let's 
gonna say there should be a locked door somewhere around here, no? Any wrong way. No, there's a door. There's a door here. That's okay. I, again, I appreciate the help because this being a randomizer run, especially, the help has been. Fantastic. Because I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing half the time here. Everything's all out of order. My brain is scrambled. That's the theme of this Majora's Mask randomizer, like, run through. It's brain scramblies. So I made, um, I put scrambled eggs in a pan, put a tortilla over it, cheese and ham on top of that, you know, after I flipped it, and then just, like, smashed it down, and it was pretty good. It was like a gift recipe that someone sent me. It was easy, it was really good. And then I made cookies after that. Again, not homemade or custom. Vinny, have you muted yourself? No, I'm, I'm concentrating. I'm constipating. Infinite magic is very nice. Very cheesy as well. Gilded sword would help. Could you you can get the gilded sword by this point in the game, right? Or no? You can. Man, I, I was so far- I was really far ahead of the curve on, uh, a lot of this playthrough by having this sword, and now I'm 
Now I'm underpowered. No, we don't want that. We want a heart. All right, so all that effort. Let's see what I get. It's not going to be 10 rupees, 5 rupees, or even 20 rupees. It's going to be the lens of truth. It's, it's 100 rupees. May as well be 10. You're beaming. I don't know which one I should go into. Thoughts? Up here, maybe? I have to follow the green. It's a good thing someone reminded me that I could freeze these. Ice definitely sounds cool. You need to change the direction of the flow in the first room of the dungeon to reach the boss room. So now, maybe I can do a, um, a Song of Soaring. Well, I mean, this is going a little faster than it would have normally. Just if I didn't do that boss, I think um, things would have gone quite a bit more swimmingly. <laughs>
turn off the yellow one and turn on the red one? Not quite. So yellow on, then red, then yellow again. God damn it. Hello, chat member. Chat member just joined. They said hello, so I'm saying hi back. There's a, like, a pretty decent chance I'm gonna have to fight Majorpo as, uh, a, like, an underpowered Link. With infinite magic and lots of potions, but still. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, so the actual fight. I don't think I've ever actually fought... No, I have. I have. One time. I think I fought Majora one time without the Fierce Deity Mask. dude. This is the Zelda version of Funky Kong. The uh, Zora mask, or Mikau. I think is how you say it. Someone said Rich Evans is the only fierce deity I need. Excuse me? What year did Chrono Cross come out, chat? Was it the same as this one? Or 99, was it? It was 99, so it was, it was a year before this. Because there's a character in Chrono Cross that reminds me a lot of this cool dude Zora. Nikki. He plays the, the fucking awesome guitar song. Yeah, the musician dude.
so awesome. <laughs> He's like Bunga. Without the Kawa. Also, chat, is there anyone on the Final Fantasy dev team named Nobunga? Or did I just make that up? So I know there's no Mora, but is there also a Nubunga? There's no Nubunga. Is there a Nub Nubunga in any dev team? Is this a name that I just made up in my head because I've been saying Ungabunga a lot? It's Nobunaga. Oda Nobunga. And then there's Nobunaga. That's a different dude. That's not the same dude that I thought. A valve? Uh, no. I did. I missed the valve. Let's go. I guess we gotta turn the green valve. Okay. Gotta reverse the flow again? What, the red flow? No, you don't. Okay, alright. Um, I, I appear to be stuck. Red plus green one. The entrance with the red plus green pipe that you can enter. I wasn't able to enter that, though, was I? I tried. Vinny, there are two. I figure because the flow was already, like, going to this area, why bother? Yep. We're, we're, we're enjoying that good camera now.
I believe this dungeon was created by, um, concept designer Nobunga. Yeah, they gave Nobunga this dungeon. It was his first and last. Just want to say, chat. Even flow, thoughts arrive like butterflies. Yeah, that was spontaneous. Better. That, I don't know where he came from, but you know, sometimes he shows up on stream. Oh, he don't know. So he chases them away, yeah, yeah! Yeah, only Eddie Vedder could really make the word away turn into a wear. And it works, somehow. I think it works quite well. Someone said, no, it doesn't. I mean, Pearl Jam is probably one of the most successful rock bands of all time. Uh, it worked for most of us. It certainly works for me. Oh, I thought I had to freeze one of these, like, slimes. Oh, yeah, well, that's just, like, my opinion, man, of course. But, I mean, they are one of the most popular rock bands of all time. Successful and popular, and, yeah, so... They did something right. Vinny, they sound like Creed. No, 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 Creed sounds like Pearl Jam, but worse. He's... Eddie was the first guy to sing like that. And he's the only guy I can really tolerate singing like that. And not all of Pearl Jam's songs have the here, like not all of it is that. Yeah, you, know, you can actually understand Eddie better in a lot of his songs. That's just me defending Eddie Vedder. I don't know. I can't. I, I, I like the guy too much. Battle it. Last living grunge legend if you don't count Grohl. Oh my god. You just... That... Yeah. Well... Kinda. Uh, Grohl was in a grunge band, if you want to call it grunge, even though that was just kind of a label that the, you know. That they just slapped on it. Um, yeah, Foo Fighters only ever really sounded grungy a little bit. Mark Lanigan's still around from the Screaming Trees. But lots, lots of the, the sad, long-haired, dirty, depressed men are no longer with us, which is a shame because I love their music. But, yeah. Mud Honey? Mud Honey is still around. That's right. I mean, these are the lesser-known grungy bands, but, yeah, there's a lot of, like, Screaming Trees, Mud, mud Honey, uh, Butt Money. The mud hole surfers. The Melvins are still around. Chris Kringle. 
and the Dirty Spingle. Um, Land of War, uh, God of Cock, um, uh, Glory Bung. You know, these are all bands from the 90s that still to this day, you know, they play, they tour, they're just a little bit less popular. I know there are people here that actually don't listen to this music and and are like, wait a minute, what? Those are real band names? Vinny, you can climb that as Zora. Oh. Well, okay, Mud Honey is real. Butthole Surfers are real, even though I would never call them grunge. But, yeah, these are actual real bands. Just the rest I might have... ...embellished a little bit. Hog-squeezing rat twisters. That, that sounds like something that could have been around during that time. Garbage. I mean, Shirley Manson's still still around, right? Butch Vig, who uh, produced Nevermind, is the drummer in Garbage. She's only happy when it rains. Betty White Titfuck. What a great band that was. God. That's right, chat member. You're bringing out the, the good stuff now, the deep cuts. So I can head back to that spot now, right? Yes, chat? This is the wrong way. Passenger of shit. Great band. Great band. Oh, the Jesus Lizard. That's real. I had a fucking Nirvana tape. Because at the time, you know, that was the cool thing to do, to have a Nirvana tape. Especially one that your friends didn't have. And... It was a very... short tape. That I spent, like, three dollars for. Three dollars on, and it was um, the Jesus Lizard and Nirvana. So the the A side was Nirvana, Oh the Guilt. The B side was Jesus Lizard, Puss. That was the name of their song, Puss. Again, this is like top selling popular music of the early nineties. It was a good song. I got it, I got it, I got it. I just want to say thank god this dungeon's over. Just about. Vinny, do you remember Stained? I do remember Stained. They weren't... ...that bad... It was just more whiny, like, sad music, wasn't it? I don't remember a single Stain song, I'm trying to think, like, I, I remember liking one or two of their songs, but I can't think of a single one. 
What was the the name of the the song that was popular? Oh, it's been a while since I wish I saw you. So why is Vinny being a hypocrite? Why does he like some sad, depressed man music and not others? And the answer is... Well, not every video game is a good video game. Not every RPG is good RPG. Some sad, depressed man music was very good. Some kind of sucked a little bit, you know. But that was also Stained was like five or six years after the grunge thing kind of came to an end, if I'm not mistaken. And then, like, new metal was coming around and pop punk became big. And I, I, I like some of that stuff because of Tony Hawk. So. But only a couple songs. I don't know enough. I mostly, the stuff from Tony Hawk that I liked the most was, like, Power Man 5000. Like, lots of the 80s shit on there was really good. Not into Blink-182 that much, but I like a couple of their songs. When Worlds Collide was such a good fucking song. Also, this boss in Majora's Mask 3D, I remember being annoying as fuck. It took me so long. I remember struggling with it, like, big time. Pornos for Pyros. Oh, that's a great band. Jane's Addiction and Pornos for Pyros, both. Both of uh, Perry Farrell's bands I really liked. And yes, that is the name, literally the name. Vinny, what are you doing? Someone said that the Zora thing killed in one hit. So clearly that was, that was a lie. I don't know what to do. Now I know what to do. Oh, I believe Nobunga created this boss fight, too. This was his concept. So, I, I think... Yeah, I think I want to do a thing where whenever there's something in a game I don't like, if I don't like the design of, it was made by Nobunga. Genius Nobunga, no less, too.
always bumping. Well, that wasn't fair, was it? Well, I didn't realize he was stunned until I was like, oh, he's stunned. I'll jump back in. That was bad. Yeah, I didn't really- I didn't realize that you could also stun this dude while he was in the water. Like, with- with, um, Zora Link. Good. These fucking bone noises, dear lord. I saw the timer, I was like, oh fuck, is the world ending? Yeah, dive in place! Yeah, yeah you dick! Also, why is Link drowning? I have the, the tunic. The blue one. It's fake. Real fake tunics. I... hate this dude. I remember the 3DS version having, like, suction and, and, like, mines, and I remember being really annoyed by it. Gilded sword. I will miss the Razor Sword because its design is very good. But... This has got better reach, better attack power. It was about time. It was about time. That's what I call progress, chat. We made progress in the game.
me just check this off. Alright, dungeon is done. So... Best chance to get Oath to Order is in Icona, but lack of Lens might make some checks difficult. Vinny, do Pirate's Fortress. Twitch Council here to inform you that your Twitch, uh, your stream permissions have been revoked because of that joke. What the hell, chat member? I don't even know what I said. What the hell did I say? Pogress? I said Pogress. Like progress, Pogress? Oh. Give it a rest. Give it a pog rest. Get out of here. This is outrageous! It's unfair! Anakin, the council does not wish to make you a Jedi. You will not ascend to the rank of Jedi Master. But you were a Jedi Master at, like... Sorry. Obi-Wan Kenobi was a Padawan. Like, in how old is Obi-Wan Kenobi in Episode 1, chat? He's, like, in his late 20s, early 20s. Still a Padawan. He's like 23 or so. Where am I going? I I've... Light all the lights on the upper floor for an item. Ugh. Yuck. Ewan was like 28 in 1999. Weird to think that I'm now older than Ewan McGregor was throughout all of the prequel trilogy. Someone said soon the original. <laughs> Oh, I've not. That's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. Vinny, you need to get the eggs for a song. And the eggs are Pinnacle Rock or at the Pirate Fortress. The answer is yes. Alright, well, well, we'll go to Pinnacle Rock first. Seahorses. Vinny, I'm pretty sure you only need one egg in rando. I'm, I'm pretty sure I checked that off. I checked it on. I you know what I mean? Like, like I, yes. Like I checked it. Yes. I need to get a, a picture of a sea pirate to the, the weird dude, right? Isn't that one of the things I have to do? Why are people saying tit pics? 
they're, they're not boobs in this game. Are... You're the tit, Brett. You're the tit, Brett. He's not a tit, Marie. Jermaine, don't you get into this. Right? You and your cool leather jacket. Right? I know a boob when I see one, Brit. Yes. Vinny, you need a bean for this? Uh... Oh fuck, yeah, right. I do need I need a bean. Chat, closest bean? Does anyone remember? The grocery store. Only place is the Deku Palace. Well that was where I could buy them, but I remember getting a free bean. Yeah, I did get a free- I, I think I got a free bean in one of the grottos or something. Vinny, pirate entrance is underwater. Wait, so where the hell am I going? The heart piece? Alright. Visit Chicago, free bean. I've been, and there is a bean. I have- I've been to the bean. It was- it was reflective. Chat, like four people made the same joke at the exact same time. Stone mask will make it much easier. Mate, I don't I don't have that. I just need one egg. You can't get the fisherman the picture anymore after you beat the dungeon. Yeah, I mean the stone the stone mask could be anywhere, chat. Well, midair, dive immediately. Is is there like? Okay. All right. I mean, this could be the stone mask for all we know. You know, I was just wondering where this was. That was really close. That was almost... I thought that was the stone mask for like a split second. I mean, I needed that, so that's great.
<clears throat> Full heart. There should be three treasure chests down here. Vinny left. That doesn't help. I don't know where I am. I don't know where left is. I don't have the, the natural compass that fish have. There it is. All right, pirate fortress. Three treasure chests done. Can't complain too much. The giant's mask was a good find. Big button on cliffside. Uh, fuck, I don't know where Cliffside specifically, but... Goron button on ledge. Oh, over here. They're not looking for a Goron, are they? I don't particularly know where I'm going, but... Vinny, if you find the Zora Egg, you should save state and sell it at the Curiosity Shop for 20 rupees. It's possible, and for some reason, it might be the most evil thing you could do in any Zelda game. Not even good money. For a specimen that good? So, um, these eggs are in the fortress, no? So this is gonna be fun without the stone mask. How did you delete your memories of this game? Th this is just me.
Isn't this where I came in from? Desert, what are you... What are you doing? Desert posted a Nintendo leak. There's a big Nintendo leak. It's a... Uh, big... Mowring. Oh, cool. Mar marbling? Big, big mar... Big... You get the stun and then they immediately wake up like, ah, no problem. You fuck. Come on. Vinny, go for the tower in the middle of the courtyard. Up there? In the middle of the courtyard! Of the king! What? How does that happen? Look! They, they just, like, fucking rise. Thank you for this wasp boot. Room key? <laughs> What the fuck were they doing with that? Is it possible to accidentally destroy the Zora Egg?
there should be at least two more chests if memory serves correctly. I'll search until I get kicked out. There's three more chests. Vinny, I think you need all the eggs. I, I don't th believe I do. Vinny, you need all the eggs. That worries me. Don't forget the picture, but people are telling me the picture is not... People were saying that it's too late for the picture. Because you have to do it before you defeat the boss. Give me a second. I want to check my settings on the randomizer. Faster Labfish, Skip Younger Beaver, Good Dog Race RNG. It says here, make Gold Dog always win if you have the Mask of Truth. Why well, didn't have Mask of Truth? That could have still been luck, I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like I still need- it doesn't say anything about, like, one egg. Does that mean I'm gonna have to, like, go back in time and do this again? And this is for a song, right? Like, this is necessary. Possible this one song slot has a song you don't need. <laughs> I might I might look at see and see what song it is. You can take a picture of the Gerudo all wandering around. You do not have to go back in time. However, people were saying that I cannot turn the picture of the Gerudo in. <laughs> Is that good enough, chat? that. I guess we'll see. I might, I'm, you know, it might not even be a thing that I need. Um, people were saying there's more treasure chests around here, but
fisherman opens a minigame after you kill the boss, so you can't turn it in now. Yeah. I, I guess we'll see if I even need this. Um... It's a lot of effort for a potential song I might not need. <laughs> you could try to cheese your way through the maze and skip the seahorse. So, chat, it's Pinnacle Rock, right? Technically, where do I get the song? In the lab. Trying very hard to just avoid. Yeah, it's Oath to Order. Baby Zora's Oath to Order. That is a very important thing. I, I need that thing more than almost anything else, almost. Fuck. If you don't bring the seahorse to Pinnacle Rock, you miss out on an item. Try Snowhead instead. I, I don't have the ability to do Snowhead really because uh, I don't have certain. I don't have the lens of truth. It's for fairies. But here's the thing the, the, it's exclusively for fairies, people are saying. It's not showing up on the damn map. I guess the tracker is is wrong here. Where's the 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 tracker developer who was in chat not too long ago? Oh, I need to put this thing to sleep, right? I don't even I don't even know the song. A, right, left, A, right, left, right, A. The temple is surprisingly straightforward with fire arrows without speed running tricks. That's cool then. Can't wait to kill Goat. 
G H O A T. Is that his name? Gautier? This is a singer? Somebody I used to know, I guess. I don't know. G O H T. Fallout! Can't wait for the super precise, uh, Goron scum maze for- <laughs> That's probably gonna happen later on. That might be optional though, I don't know. Just walk. Oh, that's no fun. All right, I'll just walk. <laughs> nice job, Kermit. Remember when I did this on my first try? We walk now. What the hell am I gonna do with this picture of the pirate lady? <laughs> Do you think the happy mask salesman wants the picture? Another excellent section designed by Nobunga. Someone said leaving the fairies to die, I see. There's no proof that they die. They are just floating around, speed of sound, chilling out in the dungeon.
What places does Sonic have to go anyway? Like if he, if he weren't, you know, busy saving the world, like what where does he have to go? What does he what does he do for work? Fast? That's not a good answer. Makes chili dogs at Sonic, the, the fast food place, you're, you're telling me. Alright. Yeah, I buy that. Community service? As if I maybe have wasted time. Still need the big key. So even if I do manage to make it to the top, key is needed. Check mini boss chest two for possible seahorse. That's right, there's no guarantee that I'm gonna get the goddamn seahorse from that quest. Oh no. Seahorse is locked in. You get it, it's a key item. Alright. Vinny, I've been rewatching your 3DS playthrough. You have tried that dungeon, this dungeon of the third night, and fucked up completely. I was drunk and was more and more angry at your inefficiency, and that's when I finally understood that I had an alcohol issue. I mean, I understand my playthroughs can be frustrating. I know that I'm not the, sm um, the smartest tool in the shed, and I do fuck up playthroughs, but... If someone else playing a video game, you know, like, gets you actually, like, emotionally angry, that's, uh... I don't know, that doesn't sound great, so I'm glad you... I hope you're okay now, I hope, <laughs> hope you're doing better. That was a really particularly unexpected and heavy chat message. Someone said, Vinny, it was a joke. I don't know if it was. Hard to tell. 
Yeah, it looks like the hook shot breaks the fuck out of this dungeon. Did that guy last night ever find his wife? Who, the sad rat? I don't know. I hope he did. Checks quest came out. <laughs> Are you playing it? I had no intention of playing it, but I actually... Someone in chat mentioned it earlier during my Terraria stream, and I was like, wait a minute. What do you mean a Chex Quest remaster just came out? And sure enough, it's fucking Chex Quest with 3D graphics. It's free, and it's about an hour long, so it's... You know, there's really not much commitment there. Am I, like, going the right way? Are you supposed to have the hook shot at this point in the game? Nope, absolutely not. Wait, is this this is the correct way? Okay. This is a shortcut from the lower floor. As long as I'm, you know, still on track to get the big key, I'm happy.
Fuck you, Adobe, again with your bullshit. That's two. It's not as bad as I expected, but... C program files, common files, Adobe, Adobe, GC client, in case you need it again, thanks. Will I still be able to use, um... Photoshop? <laughs> okay, thanks. Someone said, Vin, why so quiet tonight? Um... I don't know, I streamed three and a half hours earlier too, so I think I'm just kind of out of stuff to say. How's the weather? It wasn't too bad today. Alright, good chat, good chat. Head back. Head back where? This way? Big key is up those stairs. Roll on the snow again. I'm gonna listen to Captain Falcon. Cross by rolling, use Deku Flower to get to the room on the right. Inefficient. Right, this fucking guy. Brain cam. So yeah, the key, but uh, the, uh, no item. I didn't go for the item. You don't need it. Could be the seahorse. Whoa. 
could also be a hundred rupees for a heart piece. It'll take you literally forever to go down and then come back up here, so just do it after beating the boss, okay? Always a fucking cool boss. It's the most shadow of the Colossus of all the Zelda bosses. I mean, the actual fight itself is just, you know, go fast in circle. But then again, me play playing the game Puss last night was just move mouse on screen. But this is, again, one of the ones I remember the most from this game. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a booty blast directly to the face. Who keeps restocking these goddamn pots? Yeah. Breath of the Wild 2 does something really weird. Like, this game was a really good follow-up to Ocarina just because of how fucking strange it was. Like, if you do something really, like, well the first time, and you want to do something kind of like that, just do it real fucking weird, man. Like, Magical Mystery Tour to Sgt. Pepper, even though both are weird. Whatever pleases you, Paul McCartney. Whatever pleases you. I am the fucking metronome.
Now this is... I went this whole time without saying, now this is pod racing. Pog racing? What have we become, chat? What have we become? We're just a bunch of pogs in the machine. Oh, yeah. From Razor Sword to 20 Rupees. Alright, I think I'm just gonna, like, go back in time and save and then do some Trials of Mana. Chat. Uh, from Gilded, I meant Gilded Sword. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a chance on not getting that item. <clears throat> Didn't he do the Goron race? We have no confirmation that that would work, by the way. You can do it another time. You have the remains now. Use the room key and the stock pot in. Does that, that doesn't go away, does it? It does go away. There's a ramp you can use to get up here easier. Okay, so the, the key is in the fortress that I have to go back to anyway. So next time I play the game, I'm probably going to have to go back there. Just do a save state. Vinny, question, how do you find the energy to do this day in and day out? Doesn't it wear you down? Yeah, I'm a little tired today. I mean, doing Terraria for three and a half hours earlier and then streaming now, it's a little tough, but honestly, it's... It's fun, and it's not like we have... It's not like any of us have anything else to do. <laughs> Vinny, you've got post-Plinket depression. <laughs> Someone said there's a ramp up the side, but I don't know what you're talking about. I, I see the egg, the entrance there. This tunnel?
That opens up like one thing. Um, we can do the chicken, the strange chicken hero thing. Is there not an item here? No. Well, fuck. and the bridges there's two underwater all right we'll, we'll come back to this lens with song of healing yeah i don't have the lens and i do i even have the song of healing i, I don't even have the song of healing all right gonna save it here and that way we can do a couple excuse me we can do a couple things without me having to defeat the boss again next time I play I, it's crazy how long a fucking playthrough of this takes let me do the owl statue yeah why not 